Hey everyone. <laughs> it's Emily and Scott again. Scott's being so mean to me right now. <laughs> I'm not mean. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you are. I'm you not mean. So, actually, but, from this angle right here, this is a perfect tie-in. Tell us about your vacation. I went hunting for five days. It was just me and my dad. Scott wanted me to tell a funny story, but nothing funny really happened. It's happening right now. Uh, should I move my head? Does that make like a better angle? <laughs> I had the antler set up just right. It's awesome. I'm sorry. Oh. So, okay. Do you mind being on Facebook Live? I don't mind. Uh oh. This is my customer. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Hi. She's bought so, a beautiful ring from us. Can you clean this one? Yeah. Okay, what do you want me to say on Facebook Live? Tell us about your experience at Palace. Okay, I, I came here and I Googled it and I loved it. And, um, what's her name? Her name? Emily. Emily. She was really, really nice. My husband got me a ring, a nice date ride. We were on tour. We are on tour. We just came from Washington and, um, Portland, Oregon. And so we stopped through here. And we got a nice ring and my husband got a watch. And we love it. Nice. Everybody's so nice, everybody's so friendly. It's a really good place. We're gonna come back again. And when it's not snowing though. Yeah, make sure it's not snowing. But it's really nice. So it's glad to be Awesome. Here. Well thank you very uh -huh. much. All right. All right. And Emily went to go clean her ring. So you guys are stuck with me for a minute. Um Girl. I did promise you guys yes. that I would announce who won this week's Palace Pick'em. We actually had a two-way tie in this week's Pick'em. It was a pretty rough week for everyone picking. A lot of teams apparently that should have won didn't win, and the glare's getting on my nerves, so I'm taking my glasses off. Um, so the two-way tie. It, it's got to wait. Um, goes to Andrew and Dustin. You guys both win with, if I remember correctly, you guys got nine picks a piece. Yeah. Um, a bunch of people only got six picks right. We had one or two with eight. And yeah, so like I said earlier, you know, it was a rough week for the pick'em. But make sure that you guys get your entries in for this week. I've already gotten maybe four, possibly five. Um, haven't printed them yet. But congratulations to the winners. For everyone else, keep trudging along. Dustin is still in the lead, but his lead is shrinking. So you guys still have a chance for that TV, okay? Um, I thought I heard... Oh, guess who's back? Antler Here, he girl. He'll say something. He just bought a watch. Uh oh. Online. Here, oh, wow. interview your customer. How was your experience uh, with us? My experience here is great because, see, I've I seen uh, something on TV, and, and my wife, she always want to go where people, a lot of people know about, and so I'm here and I'm glad I came. So now I know about it. Yeah. Oh, That's good. A good thing. Thank you. Good. Thank you. I'm very glad much. you came by. Okay. There you go, Scott. Okay, well, we got to do the camera flipping thing. Boink, because it's easier to switch from me to you to me. See what I'm saying? Like okay, the, so. Like the old Spice commercial? Look at me and your man. Come I'm on a horse. <laughs> so, what is your favorite time of year? Wow. Football season. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. I like that. Funny you should say that. What are we talking about? Guess today? how far away Christmas is. Isn't it like... Say 10 weeks. 10 weeks? Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> Do I get a prize? You get a high five. Yeah. So Christmas is only 10 weeks away. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start showing you guys the most popular items for Christmas. Especially if you have a kid Emily's age. Although Emily admitted before we started recording, she doesn't know anything about tablets. And yeah. she's a millennial. So today we are going to talk about tablets. And we have quite a few laid out for you guys. And there's R2D9. Oh wow, what are you gonna do to win that? <laughs> Watch the video. Or stay tuned, listen. So I tried figuring out a way to get him plugged in so you could actually see what R2D9 does. 
but I don't have a car port over here. But you plug him in, he's got the two, well, if, if it'll focus, you there it is, yeah, the two USB ports right there. Uh, you put them in your cup holder. Ta-da! Wi-Fi. So he fits in cup holders. You can squeeze them and he fits. And you plug him in and then he lights up and his head spins and he he's probably like, goes beep, 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 beep. But there's still no lightsabers in his head. So if you guys are interested in something like that, come down, see Emily. <laughs> That was actually a pretty cool shot. <laughs> now, tablets are fun. They replace. That's a good word. Tablets are fun. They are. That's a good uh, we're gonna make. We'll, we'll make a commercial out of this. <laughs> Back in the day, probably before Emily was born, professionals had beepers and something called a PDA. I don't know. You don't know what a PDA is? No. Well, the PDA was very quickly replaced with the BlackBerry, and then there's a real bad... Like a Palm Pilot yeah. kind of thing? Yeah, Palm Pilot kind of thing. So now, tablets do everything all of those do, and even more, because now you can do video conference calls, you can Skype. Um, Emily was a slacker and didn't charge any of these, so we can't turn them on. I'm sorry, guys. If, <laughs> if I had the time, I would have turned all of them on, and we'd be doing like a crazy light show right now, and be like DJing it up, but... So the question at hand now, Emily, how do you choose a tablet that's right for you? How would I choose a tablet that's right for me, mm -hmm. or how should you choose a tablet? I have a tablet, so I know how to choose them. Well, let's ask me that question, then. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Question one, what are you going to use it for? Oh. So if yeah. you're going to use it for arts, like you want to make music or make videos, Apple is the way to go. I can't stand Apple. But when it comes to creating uh, music and videos and stuff, they're the way to go. If all you're going to do is read books, you want to get what's called an e-reader. And you can see right there, critical battery. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. These, they cannot act, well this one anyway, can't access the internet. Um, you just, you read your book. That's all you do. Uh, where was that other Kindle? Right here? Yeah. I think this one turned that's on. That's a Kindle, just the regular Kindle. This one's a Kindle. These guys, these Kindles, you can actually access the internet. You can download games. So it's more advanced. It's somewhere in between an e-reader and a tablet. I have one, and I honestly watch more Netflix on it than I do read. Oh, Mom, if you're you listening, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have a Motorola here. They all have cameras on them now, so they're all fancy schmancy. This one. Oh, looks, look! Hey, this is a it's I'm recording a reflection of me. <laughs> like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> this is a cool nook, though. That's what my wife has. Yeah, I have a couple friends that have nooks, and they like them quite a bit. So the question is, do you speak American English or British English? <laughs> it's fun. And then, just for giggles, I pulled out this Viewpoint Mission Impossible scanner. They call it the magic wand. I honestly but think I'd want one. <laughs> you literally, like if you guys need to scan documents and upload them to PDF on your phone... Or wherever. Especially like if you're in school. You just scan. Does it make that sound? Yeah, if That's I it? do it. Oh. You didn't charge it. Like we can't a test it. Recording. Yeah. That's the way it goes. That's how it works. So every That's week nice. from now through Christmas, we will be showing more along the lines of stuff you guys can come down here and buy as Christmas presents. We're not going to sell an ambulance, just so you know. Did you, the driver couldn't even see over the steering wheel. It was like Kilroy. Um, <laughs> um, so if you guys have any suggestions that you guys would like to see over the next 10 weeks, let us know, okay? Uh, because we don't know what you guys want to see, what you want us to talk about. That's why we pick and we just kind of act dorky. Remember, we also have layaways. There's 90-day layaways. Um, you can call and make payments. You can do all that stuff. Instapon. Um, Instapon. Do you want to talk about Instapon? Instapon. Instapon it is the world's is first mobile fantastic. 
It's fantastic. Yeah, she's trying to tie in. It is the world's first mobile pawn app. Um, as it stands right now, if you have a loan in with us or if you have a layaway with us, you don't have to drive to downtown Reno to make your payments. You can make your payments straight from your cell phone, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me. Um, you can call the store, um, ask one of the associates if you have any questions, or you can just send me a little Facebook message and I'll answer all the questions you have as well. What if your phone's broken? What would you do? I would come down here and see Paul because he is a magnificent person who just fixes your phone as quickly as possible. And he's like the best in the whole forever like of him doing this. It's insane. It's like, oh my God. You know she's lying, right? Paul. She'd probably scream and cry and like curl up in a fetal position. I'd come down here and see Paul. So we have tucked away in the back of the store Oh, oh wait no here you hold it up we're going to switch the camera so it reads right we have zoom focus phone tastic repairs you can call or text this number and he's right inside palace like right in here at 300 and north virginia street these are his hours because it's a lot easier to do it this way you guys can pause to catch him and all that fun jazz so if you guys break your phone, there's no point in going and buying a new one unless you're going to buy it from us. But if you don't have that kind of money, call Paul. Call Paul. Because Paul is, like Emily said, he's, he's fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, this week, what are we giving away, Emily? Since we were talking about tablets and e-readers, we're going to be giving away this Nook. It's 16 gigabytes. It's on a Barnes & Noble Nook, just like I said. It's white on the back. Slick. Nice white gray. Oh, and you can speak British English and still use this? Yeah. I don't know. I've never read British English or talked. You never read Shakespeare? <laughs> I'm going to have to go with American English on this one. Though I've, she be but little, she is fierce. It's the greatest quote in Shakespearean history. Yeah, I know. I've, I've read it. I didn't. Oh, yeah, you've read it. What play is that in? I don't know. Uh, it's a Midsummer I've Night's Dream. I've read Shakespeare, though. I had to. <laughs> I had to in, in class. I didn't really like it. But that's just me. I'm a... Yep, anyway. We're giving away this nook. <laughs> What's the trivia question? Come on. Um, what does an R2-D9 have? Are you really trying to think the answer? Uh, um, oh, I, I got it. No, I see what she's saying. So <laughs> yesterday and today, I made a comment about what R2-D9 does not have. Trying to video. make a joke, referencing the movie, because R2-D2 has them, and he spits it. Yeah. <laughs> but you said it already in the video. Yeah, so there's a trivia question, trivia challenge question. What does R2-D9 not have? All correct answers. Um, have them in before Friday morning. And you will be entered to win this nook. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and we've babbled on long enough. And I'm afraid she's going to try and dive over the counter if I say bye before she does. So I did make that sure... last time, yeah. and you guys missed it. It cut out way too soon. But I, I like I got tackled scared. Scott. And I was like, bye! Like, oh, weird life <laughs> like I normally do. So make sure you like the video. Share the video so all your friends can see it and know how awesome and crazy we are. Make sure to follow us on all of our uh, social media, too. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Well, you guys are already on Facebook. And Instapon and YouTube. We're on YouTube, so follow us on YouTube. That'd be so cool. All right. Yeah. I'm All done. Right. Are you done? I'm done. Say bye. bye.